Greetings and welcome to episode 120 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod USA campaign and we're back my friends of the USA campaign we're of course trying to get this campaign my friends into a much more sort of progressive state here and that's why we're back a bit much sooner than we normally would be now last time my friends we had a terrific terrific fight against the Austrians finally ending the Austrians in total here we do not have any Austrians left at all now to battle remember they had that massive sort of force that they never seem to quite use they never quite seem to sally forth with that with the the sort of these five or six army groups there they had in Venice and they sort of just stayed there stationary and they were just basically just w their, their armies being worn down by attrition and by loss due, 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 because their economy had basically collapsed and we finally finally put an end to a, a, an enemy that's been in our, a thorn in our side for, for decades absolute decades it really has been that long because they've been a principal ally of Germany who have gained who are still battling hard here my friends we simply simply cannot put down the German this German resistance at all but now I think now we've removed their sort of one of their main allies Austria I think we might be able to put an end to the to the, to the sort of the perhaps the northern redoubt of the Germans here the southern redoubt of course is still highly active we've still got battles with the um, with Germany in the Middle East we've also got it in the f in some would say almost bordering onto uh, the subcontinent as well so we've got we're battling them everywhere it really has become a real bloodbath a real war of attrition now we need to try and get a handle the council has called for us to get a handle on this and get a handle on this quickly so what we are going to do my friends for a brevity here we are actually going to not take this battle because you can see we quite clearly outnumber this force here we're trying to clear Hungary that's our main principal goal here is to clear Hungary of German forces and almost have put a backstop here put some kind of resistance here put a line of defense along here so the Germans can't keep filtering forces up from the south to the north now I am absolutely bewildered at where the Germans are getting these forces from they are they are sending they've got forces streaming out from the south from for pretty much from the Mediterranean upwards constantly sending them we've also starting to see that that increase in German military traffic as well coming from the east now that's moving from through sort of Russia because vast swathes of Russia are under the control of the Germans and they're using that to their advantage remember they're allies with Russia as well so they're able to move troops at will through Russian territories and through territories they control within Russia and they're able to move and we're seeing that sort of increase in, in military traffic we're starting to see the roads starting to move you know we're looking at army group, entire army groups moving up from the east as well so we've got we've, we are tied down in the Don but that that army group or several army groups we've got there locked in the Don is actually containing a massive amount of German forces now if those German forces were able to spill out of the Don it would put a huge strain upon our eastern flank here as you can see from Konigsberg to Warsaw now Warsaw is still protected we have stripped armies away from the defense of, of Warsaw and we have as you can see here now bring Breslau and Silesia here under siege we're trying to get a grip here the council really has pushed for us to get a grip of this this sort of, of the combat in the north we've also got a massive massive fight um, in just outside Berlin as well where the Germans are absolutely dug in there we're trying to move forces from the homeland from Denmark and from elsewhere trying to lock down these German forces and try and put an end to it but it you know the, the sheer number of German forces available here still even though we've we have I mean the, the casualty rate in this war is staggering it is absolutely staggering it could possibly top over a million men that is how brutal this war has been and it still is not over but we are going to quickly resolve this battle here. I don't think we want to get bogged down in smaller battles like this although we probably will lose a number of casualties here but we will of course be able to to sort of fence off ring off put a backstop here on this defense let's just quickly we do that my friends you see we lost 2290 here but we still got 7000 remaining so statistics here of course it took out the took out 24 pounds wonderful sir but we had to do that we've done it now now we've cleared this and the reason we've done that is look the Germans are sending all these forces up here we're trying to get some some breathing space here now now we've got this town here but we are trying to keep oh look at that now I think we might move this force into 
the Fort Coleman here um, because that will definitely enable us and actually put that into the, these gentlemen to the fort I think these probably be no actually we'll just put these gentlemen here but as you can see we're trying to seal off as you can look at this I mean they're sending a plethora here of forces from the Mediterranean where are they getting these forces from I have not a clue they don't have any major production centers here at all they don't have Istanbul which is just I mean that is that's a lot of forces here. If these these Ottoman forces to spill out into Anatolia and Anatolia here, we would be in trouble. But we did have a battle here at Ankara, and we did thrash them soundly, sir. But we've also trying to bring the uh, this under our control fully. As you can see here, we've brought Jerusalem and Damascus under our control. We're rebuilding, repairing here. We've had some real brutal fights here, even here against the Mamluks. We're at war with them, but they haven't attacked us here. But they have a staggering amount of forces at their disposal they really do we have managed to move That's in some great. reinforcements here and we will continue to put those reinforcements we've got 23,594 as you can see our income look at that look at the army upkeep it's nearly 300,000 it's only the trade that is keeping us afloat here and our navy upkeep isn't as as large we've actually kept the navy upkeep quite reasonable even though we do have a probably the single largest naval force in the world but the army upkeep is 300,000. Now, the cost of this war has run into millions, absolutely millions of gold pieces. That is no exaggeration. It has cost us a, a fortune, a king's ransom to this war here. But we shall not yield, sir. Now, we do have Europe is being hit pretty hard. Cotton here has been hit pretty hard. And that's quite high here. Cotton, as you can see, does bring in a good amount of, of money for ourselves. And tea is also being hit. But tea is one of the major earnings here. 31 here. So as you can see, our Indian sort of <coughs> redoubt is being hit. I think it's Persia here. Yes, indeed. Persia is being hit. And as you can see, this is our this is our expansion. This is, this is all German. So this is all German here. But we do have here the Don. Now the Don, as you can see here, this force here is effectively containing all of these German forces. If the Don falls, these forces will spill outwards into the, into the Russia and immediately start heading east. And before long, they'll be hitting and they'll be knocking here on the door of, the, of Warsaw. And the Warsaw forces are they are strong. Let's not underestimate them at all here. However, they're not at full strength here. They were from we did have a huge amount of forces here for a time. But we had to move them away. We to, to basically free up forces to attack elsewhere. So I think I think we shall. Or we have got guns being produced here, which is excellent. But we are going to have to commit. I think an additional probably two armies here to the Warsaw defence. As you can see, they're starting to move forces through Minsk. But then again, these armies are not are the most. Although they've got they're able to produce a lot of armies, the quality, the depth of the armies you can see here isn't of the finest. They're conscripts, and we are. I mean, the battle here for for Preburg and f uh, Hungary was a brute. It really was. But we are. We do need to get these gentlemen absolutely firmly up to full strength again because we've got um, a, we really are up against it. Let's not be under any illusions here. Ready for this is going to be a because as soon as they move forces up from here, they're going to attack. So we got we got here Silesia under under siege here. Settlement and look at that by the we've got them under siege here by the marine the army marine the marine corps here. Target look at that, an absolute wonder. This is an absolute brute of a force, and we are we've committed a huge am amount of forces. Two reasons: the first, and this was at the behest of the council. The first was we take Silesia and hold it, and then we use the remainder of the forces that aren't involved in the attack here to then crush these forces here to clear West Prussia and Gdansk once and for all. That will then free up all of these forces here for us to move properly against them here and, and push down into Hungary and put a backstop on the moving of their forces up and down. This is the whole idea of us holding these gaining this area here to so stop these forces reinforcing now we do have the spine here that you can see the spine here of sort of the western Europe is under our control Vienna, Prague, Dresden, Berlin under our control but look at this it is an absolute it is a, a behemoth here of a, of a German force here as you can see these forces are of a, a, a decent standard here these are professional fighting troops 
So we are going to be up against it here in Hanover. And they've been here, they've been dug in these German forces for at, at least 15 years around Hanover. As you can see, but again, conscripts not of the finest. Not of the finest. We've also got, luckily we've got the facilities in Copenhagen and also in Stockholm at our disposal. We've got this army here, which we have put into, we are going to put into the field very, very soon. Recruitment indeed is sharpshooters. So <coughs> we'll probably be sending these forces, or this army, should I say, here. We've also had uh, a some wonderful advice from the council to attack the sort of the soft underbelly here of the Prussian f of the of the German of the German Empire here in the Balkans to attack through Sarajevo attack through Zagreb and move in as you can see we've got an army here in Zagreb this is the army that did that, that removed the Austrians in their entirety and look at that look at the battle they took here it was a brutish fight but we've got the Venetians here as well and they've got some sizable armies and they've got quite a lot of trade coming in, but we have managed to sort of bring these, bring this port under sea. Look at that, they're not going to move against us here. We've just, we wanted to make sure we seal them in here. We've got this force just on the outskirts here, waiting to move against them. Initially. We're also quite clearly, as you can see here, bringing and raiding their trade lines. So they've got no money at all. Hopefully we will see these armies starting to pay, but I believe, who are they at? Who are their trade partners? Spain. And because Spain are here, they're able to have this overland route here with them. Or are they? No, they're not. They're actually running it through this port. So hopefully our pressure here we've put on them will start to see them suffer financially soon. But this is the real this this is the real problem we've got here at the moment. Whilst we've got a vast commitment here, we're also uh, just we, many of the council, many of the hawks in the council are calling for us to actually attack S Spain before they attack us. If we can just quickly, briefly glimpse here at Sp Spain, hostile, minus 315. It is a merely, it is merely a foregone, it's almost a foregone conclusion that Spain are going to attack us at some point. When when our our sort of diplomatic relations are that bad, it's only because of our military power that's keeping them at bay. But if you just glance here at these forces here, these are not border guards. These are not units you use to guard your border with a friendly nation. These are assault troops. I mean, look at this. These are quite clearly first-rate assault troops. All right, they've got some mercenaries in here, but they've also got marines. They've also got Swiss line infantry, Swiss grenadiers. They've got dragoons. Look at this, hunters. I mean, look at that. Riflemen. Marines, blunderbuss shotgunners, these are assault troops. These are not simply guards. Units are going to be guarding the borders. They've got Republican Guard here as well. All of these forces dug in here, just on the border. I mean, this is only, a, what, 50, maybe 60 miles away from the border here in Hanover. And they're starting to move more and more up because they've got this massive production centre here in Paris and a huge one here in Amsterdam. So they're able to reinforce very, very quickly. And they've also got Milan here as well, firmly in their control. And of course their empire stretches all the way here, all the way into Morocco as well. So we are facing a, you know, another titan, another behemoth here, which is Spain. And that's going to be a brutal fight. Because if they attack us at the same time as we attack the Germans, we are going to be under a massive amount of pressure. And that means probably siphoning off troops from Berlin and also moving troops from Dresden as well to, to sort of move into the site. In fact, we probably want to move against this force here, but we don't want to drag in these as well. We need to face them head on with a full force here. Now, we've got th five turns until we've got Sp Breslau and uh, comes under sort of, you know, tries to lift the siege. We're going to definitely move this army out as well. We've got allies here in Norway, and I must admit, they have stayed friendly with us much longer than I thought they would. They haven't really done a great deal, however, <clears throat> we won't mock them because at least they're allied with us. We've also got a strong ally here in Britain, who really have been a staunch supporter of ours. Um, and I must confess, it's going to be very, very difficult to go against Britain because their their sort of their friendship has been rock solid. That special relationship really does exist here in this campaign. 
Look at that, though. Look, I mean, look at this. I mean, Admiral Allen Knight, what a wonderful, wonderful sort of a martyr that is. That's an absolute brute. We do control the Gibraltar Straits, though. As you can see, this. I mean, look at this. I mean, the fleets we've got are exceptional, but these forces have taken a beating, as you can see here. They're not at full strength. We've also got the French here, I believe, besieging... No, they, I thought they were besieging the, the Spanish here, but look at the Spanish income there. 27,000. And they've got these forces here as well. <clears throat> so they do have a considerable amount of income here. We've had to seal off Naples and sort of it, uh, Naples and Sicily. And that is pretty much the expanse we have at the moment. We've also got here, we've also got Tick and Cylon. Now that was again at the behest of the council because the council wanted us to put this into place so that we were ready to attack uh, the subcontinent when we were ready to. But as you can see, we've got Persia here as well, which we are at peace with Persia. I believe we've got a good trade relation with Persia. Yes, indeed, we have 15,923 coming out and out of here, so our our trading relation with Persia is, is, is vast. We've also got Ankara here, and Ankara's been giving us a few problems because we weren't, and we are not able to recruit line infantry here from Ankara, which is baffling, to say the least. So, we're going to have to rely on uh, guerrilla mercenaries, I think, and grenadiers, but we are full full capacity with grenadiers. capacity here as well so we're holding this until we get more forces down there but our main goal is here putting an end to holding back these forces here and gaining Silesia that's our main goal and eventually we're going to put an end to this force here because we, we need to get hold of Munich once we've got Munich all the major German production centers are gone they got Stuttgart here as well I think that's all we can do we've got all we got we have every single piece of research you can get here so Elat here is actually going to be dismantled because we've captured this now as you can see minus three there's a chance we might get a rebellion here but still that's just something we'll deal with as and when we see fit and we've also got this port being opened up here as you can see we've also got Syria and the mines here in Pap Papos Damn, we will not allow anybody to take what we've earned. This has been a very hard, a brutal fight here for us. It really has. Right, I think now the Austrians have gone. It might just free up some more resources for us. Anyway, let's end the turn, my friends. Well, we've got 23. Let's end the turn here and let's see what happens. We've got the spies moving into the Mediterranean. We, we need to gather this intelligence of where their production centres are. Where are they getting these forces from? Britain hasn't been active in terms of its fight with uh, the Germans. They've kept a, a sort of, they've kept a, a sort of moral support for us, but they haven't actually sort of dipped their toe fully into the fight. But what will Germany do now? <clears throat> because they're under a tremendous amount of pressure. You can see they're starting to move more forces from Minsk. This is what I've been trying to say, my friends. We have to make sure that Warsaw does not fall. It's the linchpin. Warsaw of the our sort of eastern front and they're starting to recruit are they moving away from Hanover are they starting to move away from Hanover that's no they're gonna start now I got a feeling we might get a battle here in Hungary that'll test us That will test us. And they're, they're still moving towards Gdansk. But. Oh, wait a minute. They moved away. Are they moving to. Are they. Look at that. Are they starting to bring forces down to attack Warsaw? Have they tied that? This is the crucial question we must be answering here. Because if so, we need to get additional forces into Warsaw. That means we'll bring that force from Stockholm, you can see up here. We shall move them down. We shall use Konigsberg as a sort of a landing area. And we shall move and transport troops 
or will he even attack Konigsberg? Because it isn't heavily defended. If they attack these, that's absolutely fine. They haven't done that much, but Naples here, we've got to keep Naples sealed in. As you can see, they're starting to suffer now, Naples. And... They've come for us here. I think we'll do that. D defeat, sir! Then I think we're going to be sending a back. We're going to, yeah, we're definitely going to be sending a force into here Sail for home. to deal with this. If that's how they want to play, that's absolutely fine. We're going to send in a combat fleet into there. Oh, they're starting to sort of twenty dollar production centers here, but it won't count for much. We've actually pushed them back. Russia, that's a large fleet. What exactly are you going to be doing with that, sir? Ah, an army. And where will you be going with that exactly? Norway, possibly, possibly Norway, as long as they keep it out of our way. Otherwise we'll bring the full wrath of the United States Navy upon them. And it is the finest in the world. Look at the number of forces the Spanish are able to bring into here. We've got to keep a keen eye on Spain. Many of the counts are calling for us to preemptively strike to launch a preemptive strike against Spain, but I mean that would that would bring us that would bring us into a war that we're not quite ready for just yet. As you can see here, why are they moving these forces? Venice now Venice builds out of those that that bridgehead there, we're gonna that's gonna be a difficult difficult to contain. Thankfully we've sealed off the port, but as long as they stay within here, that's absolutely fine. But you imagine the fight that's gonna to take to dig them out of there. Mamelukes, they're quite they're quite clearly gonna be aiming for us, the Mamelukes. I think they're gonna hit Ankara. I don't think they're afraid to go for Ankara. Yeah, they're gearing towards Ankara there, so we've got to be careful of that as well. Norway. I wish Norway would help us here, but we can't rely on anybody else. We have to stand on our own two feet. Yeah, a sabotage here. So let's get that good grief. Hello, oh, elections! Now that's not good. Vice President. Treasury, yeah, not too bad at all. 40,000. Attorney General, yeah, repression, not brilliant. Minus, that's more like it. Minus the Secretary of State. Army recruitment is good. Naval, not too bad. We, we need a definitely new attorney and probably a new Vice President as well. Okay, we've got that. Uh, Mamluk's going to be moving into here. I don't think we, we won't build in here just yet because they're going to quite clearly attack there. But I think what we will do is we'll make sure we've got all of this up to full strength here. Now, this is going to take a while for these gentlemen to become at full strength, but we're getting there. These are at full strength, I believe, indeed, sir. So let's get everything up and running here. We can't, that's at full capacity there. Happiness, which is good to see. Of course, we've got all the production facilities we've got here as well, which I mustn't forget about here in the homeland. That's not good, is it, there? Plus one ability. Ah! Silas Hemingway. Let's have a look at Silas Hemingway here. 
74%. Not a brilliant year. That, that, that's not fantastic either, is it? Oh, oh, oh look at that. Erwin gr grinds. Minus one to treasury, though. We don't need him in the treasury. Ah, minus two to management. I don't think so, sir. Unfortunately, it's, it's also Republic. And it, we need a better... Treasury is not too bad, but we do need a better Attorney General, really. Let's see if we can get someone better in here. Oh, we look at that. That's more like it, sir. We can't we can't change the head yet of our Vice President just yet. But we do need a better Vice President. We've got a good... Definitely somewhere we need... Yes, good for Europe, at least. Yes, we definitely need a good uh, Governor of Europe because Europe is our sort of main base of operations. That's fine. That's more like it. Now we're getting a few more troops here. We're starting to try to... We want to try and build up a force here yes. in the homeland as well, away from the glare of the enemy. And we want to put... What I think we'll do is we'll put together... Um, actually, the council did call for us to put together an army group here and attack the sort of soft underbelly of the German forces in the Balkans. I think that's what we'll do. Forward. We've got an army here, as you can see. That's going to require cavalry. Carassiers. And here as well. I think we'll have some 24 pounders. Here as well, we've got some additional force, some additional naval units. Oh, look at that. We are putting these forces together because we want to increase this force here to full capacity. Anatolia has also seen an increase here in cavalry. I think we have to get some 24 pounders as well. Now we're going to preempt this by getting ourselves ready to equip another army. The army won't be at, at, at the strength we want or have the composition we want, but we could always ship forces from here into Ankara. So I think that's what we might do here. But again, we can't, we can't get for some reason infrastructure is poor here as well. The blazes is going on. We, we can't... For some reason, we cannot recruit... We cannot recruit line infantry. That just baffles me. Now, Austria has also seen an increase here. Now, I think this should give us time... Move these gentlemen in here, and now let now let's replenish and repair them. Because these guns here alone will keep anything at bay. We'll also just move this army here into here to sort of fill that gap. As you can see, it's already drained forty thousand of our of our gold has already been sunk into this. I don't think. We need this here anymore. We'll burn that down. We're going to put some economy in there instead. I think the same can be done here eventually when we get Silesia. <coughs> Is that a college? We don't need the modern university either. That's Prussia eventually. That's what we'll do. The oh, look at this here. Weaver's Cottage. Definitely been upgraded here as well. I Iron wo Iron Master's works. Look at that. Four more turns, still surrender, but they're moving here against. I think Warsaw's going to see something happening against here. We've got to boost the, the defenses here of Warsaw. Simple as that. Ready for Almost at full strength here, which is good to see. Just those gentlemen there. Yes, sir. Just that one, they're almost ready here. Why are these not being replenished here? Aha! Ex 
excellent. Now this army here, oh good grief, look at I me, mean, look at the beating it took here. It's taken all these, it's taken at least nearly six or seven months for this army to be fully brought back up to full strength. That's how hard that fight was. Damn if we lose any more. We've got these over here in Sweden as well, which is good to see. We can probably start transferring this force across, I think, at Konigsberg. And we'll put them in the forest here so they can move across into here. We're going to need transport. I think we'll start putting our gather own salter force here. So the Germans move against us, we'll put an army group here, I think, and we'll take the fight to them. Now as you can see we do have a massive amount of It's destroyed, we are going to be sending our own forces into there to deal with that. I think it's about time we stepped up our raiding of the trade routes. Where was that battle? Right, Naples is here. I think we're going to send I think we'll send forces in to deal with the Na Na the Naples and Napoles here. It was that fight, it was here, wasn't it? And Afghanistan joined that fight with them. And the Mughal Empire as well did. I think we might send some forces in here to deal with these fiends. But first, I think it might be wise for us to settle our score here in Ivory Coast. And I think we might just have... Look at that, and they're reading that there as well. I think once this force here is ready, we're going to send this naval force out as our raiding force, as the councils want us to do for a while. And I think we're going to send that force out to do some serious damage to our enemy. And if that's going to be the case, then we def do we have we have an admiral here. It's a steamship as well, which is good to see. Cabot, Adams, Wabash, Herald, Indefatigable, Ardent. This is going to be our principal strike force out in the oceans. We can't leave, we can't move these forces away. I refuse to. I mean, look at the sheer magnitude of our income. I mean, look at that. Our income from these ports is astounding. 103,000. We just simply can't leave those ports undefended. I've also got here these here. That's bringing in 2,000 there as well. My goodness me, that's a lot. We give we, yeah. Agvituk was given to the British as well, which is absolutely fine. We we basically the Caribbean and, but mind you, France controls these here now. France should be helping us out in some ways, but unfortunately they don't have the strength to do so. We do have these armies here, and these armies are a, are strong armies as well. They're actually. Starting to put together. Remember, we gave them Bedolia. They've got these armies here as well, so we gave them these forces here. All right, let's end the turn here. Hopefully, we can get these forces up and replenished before they move against us here. And also, this is sort of the backstop. We're trying to stop these forces from being pushed up here. We won't here. This is what we want to deal with next. This is the next our next mission. can't replenish any of these just yet, we don't have the money. That's absolutely fine. We'll repair these, but unless they're going to move down here with these, let's find out, let's end the turn my friends. I know there's not much action going on in this map, but it's just we're bringing together the plans of the council, that sort of it takes a while. Sometimes you need to take a you take, take, take a step back, take a breath, just to re sort of gather your your, your senses, regather your sensibilities as well. Trying to, we've got that force there. Good grief! In Algiers, we've just been stuck there. We've got to get that army as well out into the field. I think we'll replenish Ankara with that army. It's just been stuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, opportunity to intercept here. We could probably pick this army off by itself, which is exactly what we need to do. 
That's not at full strength either. Declined attack. We need to get we need to wait for these forces to be at full strength. But they're gathering, something's gathering in the wind here. These forces are moving somewhere, but where, sir? Where, sir? Yes, as I thought, they're moving down towards Hungary, so actually, the don't be silly. Do not be silly. Victory is ours. Gone. Another German force gone, but we need to replenish that quickly. They're quite clearly going to try and move down here and try and hit the Prague. They're gathering for something, but for what? Plot thickens. Can the council possibly make out what they're doing? Where are they aiming for? Where are they going? What's their target? We need to know. They won't be going anywhere with that, anyway, with that army. That's fine. Naples. Mokal Empire. Ottomans. Are they, are they growing a backbone here at last? Ah, looks like they're gathering for a fight. Which is always good to see. We're always in for a fight, sir. Look at the Russians. Now, the Russians are starting to move against... But who with whom are they moving against here? Well, well, well. Looks like they're going against Sweden. Well, now that is actually good for us because that removes but the possibility of an enemy there. <coughs> we can we can then move that navy we've got there away. <coughs> Excuse me, my friends. Spain, don't do it, Spain. Yep, yeah. they go. They've gone after <coughs> Sweden, Venice. Don't be silly, Venice. Don't be silly. Courland, who are gathering strength. We do have a good relation with Courland. The Mamluks are quite clearly going to be moving to against us here in, An in Ankara. I think that's a foregone conclusion. Nothing too drastic. But what? Excellent. Gone. It's been executed. Sure is good to see. So the spy gone. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this navy is starting to gather some <coughs> some pace here now. What else could we do we have here? We got We got the constitution already. A rocket ship. We've got a bomb catch.
but we just need brute force here to basically steamroll everything in our path which is exactly what we're going to do got 35,000 coming in there Poland has seen a massive increase in recruitment forces in just in case it is Warsaw they're after. Got Karassiers, they're Ready also... Order. Ready and awaiting order. Look at this for an army, it's a wonder, sir. We definitely need 24 pounders. Are they already... No, we need 24 pounders for this army. Or are they already... No, they're almost done there. 24 pounds, we can cancel this. Actually, no, we'll keep that going there. What do we have here in terms of grassy yes, ears? Plenty of grassy, we need now infantry. We're going to be attacking sir. the Germans where they least expect it. We need infantry for here. Going to be increased. That's also going to be increased. We're going to we're going to we're going to get every single coin we can out of our economy. We do need to deal with these up here, these Black Hills Nation here, but Black Hills Plains Nation. We we just can't at the moment. We can't. We don't have the resources to commit to that just yet. We do have a lot of British forces in here, but look at that. Look how they're starting to lose a lot of men here. The British. to give us something here. Not a bean. Even if we upgrade to an army staff college, we can get Republic Guard, but it's not going to give us anything additional at all there, so I, I just cannot see the reason to put that in. Oh, we must move this force here. That's a good fighting force there. Yes, yes, I think we'll land here with we'll support Ankara. I've got to get these additional forces into Ankara. Don't be silly, sir. We're not going to be ambushed. We're going to leave them just there. Make ready. My goodness me, they are attacking us hard here. We can't. We can't get any good mercenaries either. We we'll get some more Karassiers. Minus two morale, excellent. Plus, ah, plus two morale in battles, and we've executed one of their one of their spies, which is good to see. I think we can probably get a craft workshop here. is here in Egypt. We are not going to be caught out at all. It really is difficult to recruit the troops you want here in the Middle East. Ideally we need to take Istanbul but I'm hoping that eventually they will pretty much wilt away here because look at that they've got no money coming in at all. to repair that. 
I will we will not be pushed away here <clears throat> we will not be pushed away three more turns we're gonna bring Silesia under our control I can absolutely assure you that's what's gonna happen got these forces here so I know we can probably move wait a minute at the ready got to get everything at full strength here why are these not at full strength it's imperative that all these armies are brought to full strength as soon as possible Workshop. Let's make a statement here that we're not going to be moved. Yes, it's going to take a while for these to be replenished, but we are starting to see these armies creeping back up to full strength. 32,000 there. Why, why are you hiding, sir? We're going to move out one of our combat fleets to deal with the trade routes. We've got these combat fleets here. Now who... There's nothing here at all, but look at our income from these here. That's why we've got to keep the, the Baltic under firmly our, under our control. We cannot allow the Baltic to fall at all. Continuing to hit our enemies here. Afghanistan's been hit, Courland is okay. Got a lot of trade coming in and out of Britain as well here as you can see. Look at that. Where we are the principal the principal trade partner of Britain here. We're effectively keeping Britain afloat. <coughs> and what's happening up here as well? Sweden's in this is under attack here by We can actually move this force in once the Russians have taken Iceland. We can then use this force and we'll start attacking some trade routes. I think we'll have one last turn, my friends, and then we're going to end the episode here. We haven't had any combat, but we've just sort of, you know, moving our forces around, getting th things in position here, as you can see. We've still got these forces locked here. They can't do anything at all, unfortunately. We're, we're pretty much locked into this, what we've got here. I mean, look at the sheer number of German forces here. It's staggering. It would take at least probably three or four additional army groups to deal with this here. It just would. That is just the, the plain fact of it. Right, let's end the turn. Final turn here, my friends. Let's see what happens. We might even get Breslau being pushed out again here. I wonder if Spain would like a trade agreement. I doubt they are. <laughs> no, they really don't like us at all. Sweden is pretty much effectively finished. Genoa? No, nope. they're a protector. Ah, they're a protector of Naples. That's why. Right, let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Got to keep an eye on Spain as well. Make sure what they're doing. Britain again. Britain could just absolutely launch an attack against anyone and they would they would do well against them. Germany. Now, do we drag them into this fight here? Again, our forces are not ready. We have to wait until these forces are ready here. Yeah, they go. They're starting to move now. This is going to be their move against us probably here in Hungary. Unless they wait a little bit longer. That will give us time to get our armies up to full strength. Then woe betide them, sir. We shall not move. We shall not be moved from Hungary, I can assure you.
Stuttgart. Look, I mean, look at the forces they're able to bring to bear here. Even more moving into the Don. No, we're not going to be pulled into the fight yet. As you can see, we're not at full strength yet. If we just wait... No, they're trying to goad us into a fight here. We're not going to take it. Patience, my friends, is key. And they're trying to move down behind us now. That's the key. There's their goal. They're trying to unlock this sort of... This defence we've put up against Hungary here. They're trying to unlock it so that we can they can move more forces in. Interesting, but no, so we will not be dragged into a fight just yet. Oh, great, here they go. They're starting to move more and more forces here. This is getting this is getting a little bit concerning here. We're starting to see a real influx of German troops behind our lines here, sort of moving in between the gaps between the sort of the major cities. Quite clearly you can see their sort of plan here. Ottomans. Russia. Spain. <laughs> Don't do it, Spain. All the Venetians do. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, the Malmalukes. They've cut the road. They've cut the road between Istanbul and Ankara. That means they how will that army be, will that army be able to get through? I wonder. They might have blocked the road to to Ankara there. If they have, then we will have to really make sure that we try and get that army around somehow. Increase the garrison size here in Egypt. Ready for order. So we've got that there. We've got a general here. I 
I would say this is almost a full capacity. We could probably move out here. We've got two more here. Once those ships are ready, we're going to move out against them. Engine that's ready, right? That's a good to go. We're starting to put together quite a force here. We will need additional troops for our final army, which will complete our army group. Which we, the council did want us to commit to, and we are going to commit to. We do need to strike here, the sort of soft underbelly here. Take, maybe take Bosnia, Sarajevo here, and really put sort of a squeeze on them here. Try and drag them away from the fight. These armies are now at full strength, exactly what we wanted. Ready for Look at these men here. These men haven't been replenished at all. In that case, let's get some additional f units in here. What do they need? We've got the cannon. Probably need additional one additional cavalry. The rest we're going to need one cavalry, one cuirassier, four line infantry to complete the garrison here for Hungary. But we've we've now got this backstop fully replenished now, ready to fight. And of course, we've got forces moving down here as well and here. But we've got we've got to try and we've got to take. Sir Breslau here, we've got to maintain our focus. And then we'll move against Hanover eventually then as well. And the Spanish. Let's see what they've got here in Paris. Unseen, unheard. Good grief. Oh that's a lot, that's a lot of forces. Yeah, the the Spanish have are very well prepared. What do they have here? We need My to know. To else? Yeah, look at that. That suddenly popped up on the radar there. That intel, look at that. That is a that is a very strong defence there. Very, very strong defence indeed. But my friends, I think we've put things into place here. We've effectively sealed off this here. They're trying to... They're obviously moving down their forces here to try and unpick this defence here so they can send these up here. That's why we've got to bring this to a, a conclusion quite quickly here. We could probably even... Un we could probably move against these armies here with with one, of the, one or two of these armies here. But Breslau is our main goal. We're going to maintain our focus. We are not going to wilt at all from what our goal is. We will be holding these. In fact, what we will do is we'll just dismantle this. Replenished and repaired. Here as well. Actually, it keeps plus four to pop. I think our population is well under control here as well. I think, my friends, we're going to end this episode here. As you can see here, this army isn't at full strength. Sir. This army here isn't at full strength either, so we can replenish that. And bring this army up to full strength, as you can see. God, grief, that's taken a real bashing here. Actually, we could have used Copenhagen to reinforce this further here. Grassiers. An additional artillery. An additional 24-pounders here. I think, my friends, that is going to be it for this particular episode. It's when we've started to prepare and sort of really sort of hunker down here at our defences. Yes. We've got these being replenished and repaired here as well, which is excellent to see. But Silesia is going to be our next target. Once that falls, we'll effectively control all of the north, apart from 
Munich and Stuttgart here, which we can then eventually hopefully siphon off troops to take, deal with. We've got to crush this pocket in here, so we'll probably siphon off troops from Dresden and from Berlin and start to make our way in and start to move against them here. Because we'll have Breslau, this will be able to free these forces up. We'll then swing around here and take and sort of deal, start to cut off the forces that are moving along here. And we've reinforced Warsaw, we've done as best we can at the moment, my friends. But again, the council will always be the principal sort of decider here and the, the principal planner tactician of what happens. And it really is vital, my friends, for you to get your comments down below. Keep those comments coming down, keep those proposals coming down, keep those plans coming down. No matter how large, how small they are, it doesn't matter, my friends. Every single plan will be used in some form or other. If it's not used immediately, it will be used later down the line. Or we will adapt a plan put forward by the council to suit whatever the situation arises as the sort of years unfold. But always, my friends, please keep your comments coming down. They're the lifeblood of this campaign, or any campaign indeed. And particularly this campaign, because you can see the sort of the scale of this campaign is just vast. It is, we are, 95% of our, our military assets, our military power is in, the, in, this, in Europe. And we sort of got then other uh, other sort of military uh, theatres of operation we're moving, but much smaller scale. We need to sort of re we need to really put a, f a firm stamp upon the Germans here. We've, we're, st we're starting to do that. We've sort of this 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 really has been a victory down here. We've sealed off the ability for the Germans to start reinforcing the north. So we've sealed off that their sort of southern ability to move up here. As long as we can hold this closed, this sort of access lane here, this this movement from south to north we can we can sort of uh, begin to chip away at their, their their sort of their power here as well particularly here in Hanover which this is the next once we've taken Silesia the next battle is going to be for Hanover once we've cleared these forces from Hanover then we can start to move against Stuttgart and Munich and then all of this been under our control and then we can start moving down more and more troops down further here and start crushing in the southern redoubts but that's the plan but again the council will be the sort of the lead force within this campaign but anyway friends I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please as again keep the comments coming down below whatever you do my friends please be safe and whatever you're doing again I hope you're having a good time until next time my friends bye for now <laughs>